Whitney! We gotta destroy Chani! We don't need to ask Taiwan for troops. Well, that's because there was no Tiananmen Square massacre! It's a lie! I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, Goldilocks. No. Screw you. Suck! It means you want to go or you don't want to go. You want to get the training or you don't. <laughs> One million Chinese citizens will die! This man is clearly unhinged. And once again, the Chinese Communist Party has made a big mistake by engaging a narcissistic lunatic as one of their frontmen. Because rather than further their propaganda efforts, Mr. Goldilocks over here has actually shone a spotlight on a massive international CCP influence campaign. One which I'm pretty sure, just like the Chinese police stations, they would have preferred to have been left hidden in the shadows. Remember the good old days when the internet was new? Man, those were fun days. Booting into Windows and dialing up, logging onto IRC chat room, and then... Wait, what? Yes, I have a confession to make. That was me. You see, I used to be a hacker. And by hacker, I mean script kitty. I've grown up, matured, and gotten responsible, but many of my peers did not. Using their elite skills to target those unfortunate enough to be on the internet, but not savvy enough. You see, unless internet security is your job, you will make mistakes that hackers and script kiddies alike could take advantage of. So why not protect yourself from these frustrated single men and use a VPN? And if you're going to use a VPN, I can highly recommend NordVPN. Right now, Nord has an exclusive deal on for Christmas. Head over to nordvpn.com forward slash serpent today, and not only will you get a massive discount, but you'll also get four months free. Try it out, you've got nothing to lose. There's a 30 day money back guarantee. Protect yourself this Christmas and throughout the new year. And now, back to the show. Have you ever heard of an organization that goes by the name of the CCG, Center for China and Globalization? Well, neither had I. But now the whole world needs to focus their attention on this organization and what it has been doing and the strings it has been pulling. This rabbit hole goes deep. I don't think so. Give me a break. China craves approval of foreigners. It's a sad situation, but the government and society in general values the opinion of a random foreigner more than that of a local far more qualified person. This is a stupid reality. I mean, seriously, you can get some random white guy who's just a bum off the street to say something and people will take it more seriously than an actual PhD local Chinese doctor. You know? Anyway. This reality is a stupid reality, but unfortunately, China thus provides an opportunity for unimportant people to feel important about themselves. Any non-Chinese foreigner who's willing to unquestionably praise the Chinese government, who's willing to be a useful tool and conduit for the state narrative and act as a meat puppet, can very quickly raise their profile within Chinese state media, often being referred to as expert or specialist or speaker or media commentator, etc., etc. All meaningless titles that make them feel important, but ultimately all end up meaning the same thing, which is foreign person who has an opinion useful to the Chinese Communist Party. How about an example of this? Taiwan opened up and over the first six months had 20,000 deaths. If China opens up starting now, today, God bless all of you smart Western people who know better than Xi Jinping, who know better than Mario and Fernando, who know better than the Arshada 20th National Congress, that zero COVID should end. How stupid we all are, how dumb and incompetent the government is. All they want to do is control people. Yes, let it open up. And in the next six months, one million Chinese citizens will die. So China has been spending three years, the, you know, Beijing's been spending three years evaluating and assessing this evolving pandemic and the evolving variants and finally saw this result in Shanghai. Most recently, Chongqing with many thousands of cases, Guangzhou with many thousands of cases, confirming Shanghai, very, very low death rate. So the government finally could say, we can now pivot from this 100% focus on protecting health now, and fortunately we can because the people are getting frustrated. Now we can pivot back to a more balanced 
uh, situation here in the country. Now, the object of this video isn't to make fun of Mr. Goldilocks here, who seems to think that the big bad wolf threatened Goldilocks and the three bears to blow their house down instead of the three little pigs. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, Goldilocks. And that uh, Michael Phelps of a scorpion gave some frog a ride across a river on its back. Well, now this is the scorpion who promised to give the frog a ride across the stream. No. No. No, no, no. This video is about how this overly egotistical lunatic so? outed a massively successful and influential Chinese government think tank. I'm a senior fellow with the Center for China and Globalization. So uh, how did this happen? Well, there's a YouTube channel that uh, pokes fun at these Chinese shills and panderers and so on. It's called Free China. And about a year ago, they put out a video where they used a few seconds of a video featuring Mr. Goldilocks. It didn't even include any audio and was quite literally a few seconds of background filler. This was the response from Mr. Goldilocks and I quote, <clears throat> I demand with zero tolerance you immediately remove this video slandering and defaming my reputation and by extension all associated people and organizations. Consider yourself immediately subject to the fullest extent of the law for your slander and defamation against myself and all other people mentioned in this video. I demand you remove this video immediately. Signed, Mario Cavallo, Senior Fellow for China and Globalization, Tuesday, October the 26th, 11.50 a.m. Beijing time. Now, anyone who knows how the law works and how fair use works knows how laughable and unfounded this empty threat is. But looking past the ranting and raving of this man's shattered ego, we see something interesting. Let me read you a follow-up post he made after the video was not removed. I demand you immediately remove your slanderous content which clearly defames and damages my reputation and the reputation of all other people and associated organizations, including the Center for China and Globalization. Signed, Mario Cavallo, Senior Fellow, Center for China and Globalization. Uh, more like Senior Citizen Fellow, if you ask me, but okay, let's not go down that road. Screw you. So this raises a question. What is this center for China and globalization that Mr. Goldilocks represents as a senior fellow and is being used as a threat to get content removed from YouTube and censor opinions abroad? Why does he keep using this organization as if it's something important? Well, let's look it up, shall we? Hmm. Wikipedia says it was started in 2008 by a committee of the Western Return Scholars Association, an organization under the United Front Department and is a member of an alliance of think tanks coordinated by the International Liaison Department of the Chinese Communist Party? Wait, 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 wait. This is important, people. The United Front. Do you know what this is? The United Front is the Chinese government's international influence arm. It is literally the part of the Chinese government that is tasked with infiltrating overseas organizations. Actually, let's just Wikipedia it. Ahem. It gathers intelligence on, manages relations with, and attempts to influence elite individuals and organizations inside and outside China. It focuses its work on people or entities that are outside the CCP, especially in overseas Chinese communities, who hold political, commercial, or academic influence, or who represent interest groups. Through its efforts, the United Front seeks to ensure that these individuals and groups are supportive of or useful to CCP interests and that potential critics remain divided. Okay, I swear, no more Wikipedia reading. Uh, actually, wait, one more thing. They're embedded in the United Nations? A Chinese government-organized non-governmental organization started and run by the United Front and Chinese Communist Party officials is a consultant to the United Nations? <laughs> wow, this is just the tip of the iceberg. They have wormed their way into all sorts of influential positions and I've only scratched the surface and I'm already finding incredibly concerning links to influence operations abroad. Here, let me give you one example. I took a look at their website, and I was just scrolling through the members of this uh, rather dull-looking CCP-linked think tank, and I recognized someone. Where had I seen him before? And then it clicked. Mr. Tung! 
I'd seen him before. And with a prominent US-based Chinese government propagandist to boot. Look, here he is, mingling with Chinese state media stringer and pro-CCP propagandist Cyrus Jensen. But who is Mr. Tung? Well, he's a lot of things. But most worryingly, he's deeply connected to American politics, including the United States president and the mayor of New York. No, seriously, look, it says so on his CCG bio page. He's a standing committee member and on the advisory council of the CCG, this um, think tank that um, Mr. Goldilocks is a senior fellow of. And uh, he was appointed by the US president to serve on the National Advisory Board of Small Business Development Centers. And uh, what? Appointed by the mayor of New York to serve on some New York City minority women's enterprise advisory board thing. I mean, this is ridiculous. Just a very cursory look at this think tank that Mr. Goldilocks represents as a senior fellow. And I've linked together Chinese influence operations that include the UN, the United States president and New York politicians. Oh, and other Communist Party state media linked influencers too. This is unacceptable. And clearly, Chinese government-linked meddling in politics abroad. I encourage everyone and anyone to look into the Center for China and Globalization, as uh, Mr. Goldilocks, who represents this organization as a senior fellow, has inadvertently exposed probably the biggest Chinese government overseas influence operation to date. Astounding. Mr. Goldilocks has now hopefully learned a very simple lesson. Loose lips sink ships. Mario told you so. You can take it to the bank. In all honesty, everyone, this is very concerning. I mean, yes, we're looking at a clownish, um, what we like to call a, a foreign shill, a person who just takes any job the Chinese state media and government throws at them and, you know, it makes them feel important and all that other nonsense. It's not about um, this this silly foreigner with his massive ego and his nonsense and his inability to get nursery rhymes correct. You should have your ass thrown out of the country. Now, Fernando told me you're already out of the country. I don't know where you are because I blocked your ass. But the fact of the matter is, is that, like I said, I should have reported you to the Chinese media communications ministry. And I didn't to have mercy on you. But now I'm not having any mercy on you because you've just shown us once again, you're a piece of shit. All right. And I hope the hell you are out of the country and I'm done. You know, he's actually very inconsequential in this whole thing. But um, him bringing up this think tank and exposing it like this is uh, incredibly worrying because the more I look into it, the more I realize just how this Chinese government linked influence operation has wormed its way into universities abroad, into politics abroad, into all manner of organizations. I mean, the United Nations, some Paris Peace Accord, uh, the Hudson Institute, all sorts of places that are just right there on the surface to see. You know, the Chinese government is very good at trying to um, hide its connection to propaganda and influence uh, operations abroad. But in this case, they simply can't. The fact that the United Front um, actually started this think tank um, and tried to hide it as a non-government organization, but it is, it's a government organized non-government -go organization. There is such a thing. Um, and its sole purpose is to try and distance itself from the Chinese government itself. But it is, it's run by the Chinese government. It's run by the United Front. It's staffed by CCP members. It is pushing CCP Chinese government agendas all over the world. Um, it's very concerning. People, people are just far too trusting when it comes to China and Chinese organizations. You know, um, most organizations just aren't vigilant enough to see these Chinese influence operations slip in. And it's very evident because you can see how successful this uh, Center for China and Globalization has been. And I think it's time the tide turned. I think it's time for everybody to look at this nonsense. And you can see, go through their website, you can see all of these people that are advisors or people that are senior fellows or people that are connected to the organization, they are entrenched in institutes around the world. And they could be in your university. They could be in your government. They could be in your local constituency or whatever. And this stuff needs to be called out. We should not have people linked to Chinese government influence operations, especially the United Front. It's meant to influence 
overseas people. It's meant to meddle. It's meant to steal. It's meant to lie. It's meant to coerce. That's what it was made for. We shouldn't have people linked to that in our local politics, in our local schools. Please look into it. Whoever's out there who can and has the ability to look into this organization and uh, the people connected to it, please do so. It's very important. Um, I think it's time to really start looking into this and uh, hopefully we'll uncover more and more of how the Chinese government has um, basically been influencing or meddling uh, with your life, wherever you live. And uh, unlike Mr. Goldilocks and this CCG ridiculous organization, um, stay awesome. Take that to Uramuchi Lu. Take that to the streets. Five million lives saved. Five million children's parents and grandparents not dead.